Willock to Cody Willock in. Drops it off to Tanner, waits, centering pass attempt at the side, they score! Brett Meerman turns it home on the rebound and gives block. Tyler Teasdale through traffic's denied. Jolly on the doorstep and it rolls in, they score! Jaden Jolly in front. Buck fired in and Zolan with a weird one. It's loose at the side, he's in the crease. They're banging away at it. Charlie Zolan's on top of it. That puck took off. Chris Dronis can be the save. It's loose in front. Cody Willick's on it. It's still poked towards the goal. Loose in the crease. They bang away at it. Now the puck's covered. And it's going to be a penalty yeah. shot. Yeah. Meerman brings it in. Cuts to the middle of the ice. Meerman looks up. Brad Meerman, he scores! Okay, center pass attempt. Falls the way of Sundar, who fired it just wide. Rebound off the boards. They score! Caden Cabana off the bounce. Here's Liam Watkins. It looks to drive wide on the left. And boards a centering pass. They score! Beautiful feed from Liam Watkins. And it's Ethan Kronowit. Johnny on the spot, he to hold fired. it in at the line, 30 seconds to go. Here's McPherson with a shot, he scores! Ewan McPherson finds a way past Charlie Zolan. See him backhands it around, and that's gonna do it for this game. The Black Falls Bulldogs, for the second time in two games, give up a third period winner. Swept down to Scott in the left corner, seven seconds in the five on three. Scott in behind the net, holds it, tried to center. That went off a stick of Wolfenberg, back to the side of the cage. Eagles chip it out in front. That's knifed out of the blue paint by a back-checking Jamie Wetter. And then Gordy's out of the box. In on a short-headed breakaway. Backhander scores! <laughs> Tip wide left. Rebound from the corner. Shot off the side of the net. Scheibler trying to scramble. It's loose in the blue paint. Cleared out of the crease by Hellier. And then Huxley slapped it off a body to neutral. Hellier from the red. Shoots. Scores! <laughs> Let it end like this. Here's Jackson rolling out to neutral with three seconds to go. He'll chip it ahead to Spencer Ha. One last shot with a second left. Saved, and the Oilers win. They take down Canmore on the road, 2-0, and Alex Scheibler posts his first Junior A shutout. Continuing on with the Bulldogs pregame show for Friday, November the 18th, the Canmore Eagles are in town tonight to take on the Black Falls Bulldogs. I am joined pregame by Bailey Awanis and Bailey. Last season, you played in Delta in the CSSHL with the Delta Hockey Academy. How was that season playing for Delta? Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely nice getting back into a full season after the uh, COVID season kind of affected the last two years. but. Um, um, we had a we had a pretty strong season at the start, and uh, made our way to playoffs, and couldn't go all the way. But it was um, it was a good season, and it was nice ending ending my uh, U18 career in uh, Delta there. Yeah, you've since of course come to Blackfolds, but can you tell me a little bit about how the transition's been, both in terms of moving from the lower mainland to central Alberta, but also just the jump from playing CSSHL to playing Junior A? Yeah, I, I had lived my whole life down in the lower mainland in um, BC there, so it was definitely uh, being a much different experience um, going from BC to living here, but um, in hockey sense, I mean, Delta really, I feel, got me ready for junior, and um, their whole goal for my uh, four years being there were to get me into that transition from you know, U15, U16, U17, U18 to junior hockey. And so, um, you know, systems here are different and it's a much faster pace, but um, I, think, I think I came uh, pretty ready because of the, the way I was developing there in Delta. Just was wondering, you know, you're, you're obviously, you're, you're a rookie in this league, but you've got a lot of room to grow. You've got years left in your junior A career. By the time the AGHL career is over, do you have any goals that you would have liked to have accomplished? Yeah, um, I hope to, I mean, I hope to see um, some sort of uh, finals in my AGHL career here. Like, I hope to maybe even go to, um, you know, the CJHL uh, Cup. But, um, I mean, as long as, as, long as I, I develop here and I, I get some luck from NCAA. I, I hope that's that's good enough for my next few years here in the league. So I've got one more question after, it's kind of more about you, but I also wanted to ask, we've got Canmore in town tonight. Your last win came against the Eagles in Canmore and it was a, it was a pretty dominant one. 
So how are you guys preparing for Canmore tonight? Yeah, we just gotta we just gotta be ready. Um, we can't hold back, and we can't we gotta come out right away. Um, we gotta just play a full 60 minutes. We're gonna be watching some video before our game, and we just gotta be dialed for our warm up and. Um, and yeah, like as long as we come out right away and we stay strong the entire game, uh, we, we shouldn't have any issues. So back to kind of more on a personal note, I was wondering if there's an NHL player that you try and emulate your game to play like. If not, you can just tell me who your favorite NHLer is and why. I've, I mean, I've always looked up to Sidney Crosby. Um, of course, like, you know, him being one of the best players ever play the game it's it would always be nice to think like you want to play like that but um yeah honestly I think it's Sidney Crosby is probably my player my go-to player there I watch all his highlights and yeah that's going to wrap up the pregame show if you're in-house I'm going to turn it over to checks on the PA if you're on the broadcast myself and Mike Moeller will have the call thanks for joining me Bailey thanks for watching the pregame show